Real Madrid have the best team in the world, no doubt about it. Players like Bellingham, Vinicius Jr, Kylian Mbappe, they're a PlayStation team. But it leaves the question, where would they finish in the top 5 leagues in the world? Well today, we find out the answer to that question. We're going to be starting with the La Liga and making our way through the leagues to see if Real Madrid come out as the world champions. Do you think they will? Let me know in the comments. I think they might win every single league, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to start off by making Real Madrid's best team possible. And well, this is it. And honestly, what a team it is. That is the, it is literally disgustingly good. Now there's a few things I want to track. How many trophies we've won each season, top scorer and top assister of every season, and how many clean sheets we keep a season. So of course, starting with La Liga, we're going to Sim to June the 1st and see where Real Madrid finish. Leave your predictions where you think in the comments. And with June the 1st, have Real Madrid won the league? Well, if you look at my like manager rating at the moment, it's not looking good, but I'm optimistic from what I've seen. Go back one. Well, we won the Champions League, so that is one trophy kicked off. And we won the league by one point. My goodness. If you look at my like manager rating at the moment, it's not looking good. Oh, I'm not having this. I'm not having this. What's no, 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 no. Any other trophies? So that's a league title. Didn't win the Supercopa. Won the Copa de España versus Barca. That's two trophies. Won the UEFA Super Cup. Won the Champions League. This is a good start for Real Madrid. That is four trophies in the first season. Now the La Liga top scorer was Lewandowski, not Mbappe. Mbappe came second. Top assists, Vinny Jr. I've got to say that is a very, very good start for Real Madrid. Let's move on to the next league. We're going to start from the worst now and go make our way up to the top. So we've got Ligue going up next. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? So we're back and we're in League 1. I replaced Brest in this league. And honestly, looking at this league, I think it should be another round of victory. It's not the best league. There's only one where we can find out. Let's sim to June the 1st and see what we finish. So we're back to June the 1st. So of course we're in League 1. And look at the manager rating thing. Honestly, do the players not like me? Have you bought the league? Coupe de France. Winner. But we came second in the league. PSG won. In fact, they smoked us. Five points ahead. Real Madrid, they bottled the league. They bottled Ligue 1. Oh my goodness. Is the league of the Real Farmers League? We weren't actually in the Champions League, sadly. So season two, Ligue 1, only one trophy. That is dreadful, you know. Didn't even win the league. So the top scorer was Mohamed Bayo. And well, second, Martinelli. Third, Mukoko. Fourth, Satoka. Which leaves Kylian Mbappe down in fifth. That is mental. Our assists. Cristante up top, but Mbappe did come second. And clean sheets. Donnarumma came up top. Well, we're not even in the top five. Not even sixth. Not even seventh. Not even eighth. But ninth. My goodness. Real Madrid stung it up. What a shocking season that is for Real Madrid. But next up is the Bundesliga. Can we finish on top? Let's find out. So of course we're now in the Bundesliga. I replaced... I can't remember who I replaced. I think it was like St. Pauli or something like that. Not a great team, but... This is, of course, the Bundesliga. The team used to look out for Bayern, of course, Dortmund, and probably Leverkusen on this game. Other than that, I think Real Madrid should still be coming out on top. Technically, the, the, I reckon they should win all these leagues. Maybe the Prem is the hardest one to win. But are they going to win the Bundesliga? There's, of course, only one way we can find out. So we're now at June the 1st in the Bundesliga. The manager rating has been the worst it's been in the past two seasons in the La Liga and the league and so this could be a massive failure in the Bundesliga this season there's only one way we can look let's pick back Ooh, okie dokie then we came top of the league that is literally eight points ahead of second place RB Leipzig Bayern Munich came fourth and Bayer Leverkusen came fifth that is a good start did we win any other trophies we didn't win the DFB Pokal so top scorer is Kylian Mbappe beating Harry Kane to that by three goals assists Mbappe came fourth with eight, and Courtois came second, just behind Hirodeki in the clean sheet with 11. I'm happy with Real Madrid this season though. Won the league, and Mbappe was top scorer. But next up is the Serie A, and then it's the Premier League. Can we win the Serie A? I'm thinking we will. And here we are in the Serie A. I replaced, which team did I replace? Was it Empoli, I think it was? Now, in this league, right, our main enemies will be AC Milan, Inter Milan, and Juventus. And honestly, their teams aren't threatening at all. They've got a couple of good players. Like, AC Milan's best players is literally the of numbers at left back. Come on, man. Inter Milan, who's their best player? No, like genuinely, who is their best player? But let's send to June the 1st and see if we can also win the Serie A. Do you think we will? Leave it in the comments. I want to know. We're back to June the 1st in the Serie A. I actually don't know if we won the league, you know. I have been watching the simulation and I haven't seen the best things. So let's click back and see what happens. <laughs> we smoked the league. Eight points ahead 
of Inter Milan, nine points ahead of AC Milan. And what's that? 20 points ahead of Juventus? What? That is actually insane. Ooh, we got a new top scorer, Vinicius Junior this time. 25 goals and Bappe was in second. Top assists, well, Vinicius came second, Marcus Turam came first, and Courtois is top of clean sheets. Look at that, De Gea, nine. Another good season in the bag. But we all know what that means. That means the final league is the Premier League, the hardest challenge yet. We've got Man City, we've got Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United. What? Can Real Madrid win the Premier League? I don't think they will. There's of course only one way to find out. But here we are in the Premier League. I replaced Ipswich with Real Madrid. But let's of course sim to June the 1st for the final time and see where Real Madrid end up. And we're finally back to June the 1st in the Premier League. I think it might have actually gone very well this season. So there's one way of course to find out that's clicking back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is what we'd have to see. 92 points in the Premier League. 15 points above Man City. I think it's safe to say that Rams are the best team in the world. So that's the League one. We won the Carabao Cup. Nice. We won the FA Cup. Lovely. It's too easy. That's three trophies. That's all the trophies we could have won. All top scorers. Erling Haaland still comes out on top. Top assists. We don't even have a player in the top five. Rodrigo is seventh with eight. And clean sheets. Thibaut Courtois came in ninth. So Real Madrid won the league in four of the top five leagues and the one league they didn't win it in is League 1. How strange is that? Top scorer in two of the leagues, Vinny in the Serie A and Mbappe in the Bundesliga. Top assist in the Liga was from Vinicius Junior and Courtois came first in clean sheets twice, once in the Liga and once in the Serie A and winning 10 trophies over the five seasons in the five different leagues. So I think that's enough for me to crown Real Madrid the champions of the world.